Nearly 200 million fans are expected to chow down during the upcoming Super Bowl. Will you be a part of that number with your own Super Bowl party? Well, if so, we need some snack tips, right? So we are checking in with Food Network personality and cookbook author Sunny Anderson. Sunny, always good to have you on. Hey, I'm so happy to be here. I'd spread the word about food, snack stadiums, and football. <laughs> okay, it all sounds good. I mean, good. they all so, kind of go together, right? Right, and if we're hosting this big party, we're having this big Super Bowl fiesta, where do we even start? I feel like, you know, it, it's a lot to take on. It's a lot to take on. This looks difficult, but it's very simple. What is this? This is a display of snack stadiums. This has been kind of growing over the last few years of football fandom, if you will. You feel like everyone is doing their like own version of what a snack stadium is. Big gargantuan things that they're building in their garage. It takes years and years and years to put together and only two minutes to tear apart. Well, these are very simple do-it-yourself snack stadiums with things you can find around your office or your home. So this first one here is one of my favorites. This is just a roasting pan. I don't know if you can tell, Probably because the outside has been spackled with peanut butter, and then we just put the pretzel rods on. In the center of the roasting pan, we've got a smaller aluminum pan, and that's filled up with my favorite dip, which is hell of a good. And that's just a really easy way to set up a very inexpensive homemade snack stadium. Now, this one is kind of like an office made snack stadium, if you will. These are just those dividers that you have on your desk for your pencils and your paper clips and your index cards. Clean them out or buy new ones, and then fill them up with your dippables and the middle tray is filled up with the dip as well. Now this one I'm excited about as a snack stadium because I think anyone can pull this one off. You go to your grocery store and you buy that big old party tray that's got the celery and all the dippables in it like your broccoli and your cauliflower. Now this is the lid. You just turn the lid upside down. And then inside that lid, put another tray. That tray is going to hold your dips for the field. And then the perimeter, that's where you're going to put all of the dippables that you actually bought on your party tray. This is something really easy to affect for your party. And I think when people show up for your big game day party and they see that you've put together a snack stadium that took no time, you know that, but they don't know. It's just kind of an added, added extra oomph to your party. It's kind of bragging rights, too. You know what I'm saying? I have a snack stadium and party. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> and Sunny, and speaking of all that, it's super fun. And you guys have this big contest coming up, right? Yes, yeah. Now, this is a really cool contest because we all know it's better to watch the game on a big old big screen TV. So, if you go on to facebook.com forward slash hell of a good, and that's hell of a good with one L H E L U V A good, all you got to do is help us build the virtual snack stadium. We want to know what your favorite dippables are. Mine have to be chips or like chicken wings, but maybe you like celery sticks. I don't know, pretzel sticks. Let us know what your favorite dippables are so we can build our virtual snack stadium and four people will be entered into the sweepstakes and four people will win like everyone's going to be entered but four people actually win a big old big screen tv for the big game day it kicks off today and it's over on the 30th so get in now so you can win someone's going to win right it might as well be you <laughs> all right all sounds listen fun. All i try looks... to win I, you, you can't have enough tvs there you go <laughs> all looks delicious sunny thank you as always for being here thanks for having me